Hey guys, it's Glenda Samara, Fran Mugwall, Leilani, and Elijah. We're with Coldwell Banker Pacific Property, and this is our second episode of Brokers Convoy Convos. <laughs> um, we're going to be bringing you, um, we're just talking about a whole bunch yeah. of different topics today, so um, stay tuned and we um, hope you enjoy our conversation. So on our way to our first um, open house, Brokers Open, um, I guess we we're kind of discussing lenders. I mean, what what are the first steps to starting your home search? Probably the most important thing I think is to um, get with a mm -hmm. lender with a good loan officer mm -hmm. and find out what you can really afford. Uh -huh. You know, you want to do that before you start looking at houses. I know like interest rates are still at a historical low. I remember when I first it's really really low. Yeah, when I yeah. first purchased my first home like back in 2006, I think interest rates um, back then were like under 6% and I remember and you're um, thinking that was really low, yeah, right? Right? <laughs> because my mom then when they bought, you know, purchased their home it was like in the 11 plus percent. So when um, you know, we got an interest rate of under just under 6%, we thought that was good and that's I think the year that I just started getting into the real estate industry. And I was telling all my clients, oh my God, anything under 6% is really awesome. Uh huh. And then, you know, as years went by, I, I recall telling my clients, anything under 5% <laughs> is really awesome, right? I don't think it's gonna get any lower than that. And then it did, it went- And it is. Yeah, 4% and 3%. So um, it's really important um, to really get together with a loan officer. A uh, quarter of a point to half a point, um, does make a really it, big yeah, difference. it really affects yeah. your um, affordability and mm -hmm. how much um, you can purchase. Okay, we're coming up on our first broker's open house. It's 92 1407 Palahia Street, um, up in Makakilo High Point neighborhood. second brokers um, open house today and that's going to be in the um, Ho'onani subdivision and Fran, um, the address is, address is 91-1268 Kilipue Street <laughs> So we got a newbie in the car with us. <laughs> we have uh, Elijah Gates. So Elijah, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I love to surf. <laughs> I surf for fun. Okay, uh -huh. cool. So stay sane. Uh huh. But uh, well, good luck getting into this. Yeah. I so guess. State. yeah. What, so what made it. you decide to get into real estate? Other than my mom being in real estate, just being able to be my own boss mm -hmm. type of thing. And uh -huh. uh, in the long run, be able to buy my own house uh -huh. and uh, be more educated uh -huh. in this. Uh, in the process? Yeah. Cool, that's actually cool. Those are good reasons. Yeah, definitely. Um, I was also telling Elijah that a lot of. Um, I, I've been having, I don't know about you guys, but I've been having a lot of younger clients. When I oh, say yeah. younger, in their early 20s. Wow. And back when I was that age, I was not even thinking about, about buying. buying a house, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I give a lot of these, um, you know, younger, um, the younger generation credit because, you know, in when you purchase a house, you have a lot of things that you have to think about, a lot mm -hmm. of responsibility. Um, one thing that I really didn't... Um, realized when I was younger that was really important was my credit score mm. right yeah so um, you know having a really good credit score is I think one of the most important um, things to start off with as a young person um, you know if you are thinking about maybe potentially buying a you know becoming a homeowner one day really guard your 
credit I mean, score. Serious. And, you and know, exactly. at that age when you're young, you're like, oh, I got a credit card. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, I'm going to turn mm -hmm. uh, It went to collections. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's okay. But you don't realize mm -hmm. that years later when you go and try to, you know, purchase a home, it can really, really affect yeah. you. And we you do. Have to pay off those yeah, things yeah and we, we see that all the time. You know, we have clients too that say, oh, yeah, you know, I had this credit card when I was younger and I forgot about it and whatnot. But, you know, it's definitely important to maintain a really good uh, FICO score. Yeah. And that's another topic that we can have um, one of our loan officers talk to you about if that's something that you're interested in learning more about. So on our way to listing number three. Another um, Montecito uh, home, 91-2158 Canela Street. Okay, so we're heading to um, uh, another Eva by Gentry neighborhood called Parkside. Um, we're actually going to see my listing. Um, it's a, be a three bedroom, two and a half bath. 1526 square feet so it's kind of big for a three bedroom Glenda can attest to that yes. um, and the reason why is you'll see when we go in you'll see um, one of the awesome features of it but we'll be right back with you um, once we get uh, check out that one listing in Spinnaker, which is an Ocean Point neighborhood, um, 91-2039 Kaioli Street, unit 2202. And we're back. So that's the last property that we're viewing today. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Brokers Convoy Convos. Until next week, this is Glenda, Fran, Elijah, and Leilani. Aloha. Bye.